Well, now it's time to show you what makes the next content module so special. And this is going to be so awesome. And well, actually, there's probably a couple of things I could show you. Let's go to link one. And this has some of our example markdown that we put in. Uh, one thing that's maybe kind of hidden, maybe not, is on your local host, you could actually double click into this area. And then you could edit this content from the local preview. Oh, this is so amazing, especially if you have a typo that you want to fix, but you don't want to go to your code. You just want to fix it right on the spot. And so since I'm here, I'm going to show you something else. So let's say if I have a component and I just want to put the component tag in, let's say it's something like I have a YouTube component and I want to dump in my YouTube component right here. And then I'll close this out. Well, you can imagine if I get out of this, well, you don't see it there. Nothing actually happens. Our HTML doesn't recognize it. It's basically just a dead tag that's living on our site. If I double click in here again, you know, it's here, the tag is there, but it's not really an active component. It's never activated. So this is a really cool special sauce thing that Nux does for view components, is that we could actually make this an active component. And let's show you how. So of course, if I go into my code and I look at the directory structure, Right now, if I expand components, I don't have any YouTube component in there. And let's say if I create a YouTube component, youtube.view, and of course I already have code to put in here. Basically what this YouTube component does is all you really have to do is pass along this property for a video ID, and then that's gonna bring in that video from YouTube and display it within an iframe. But of course, if I save this out right now, I have this YouTube.view under my component section. And if we go to the content and then the doc example, we see that YouTube component here. But if I go to my browser, it's still not going to render. What we need to do to activate these component tags that are found in our markdown is we want to add a global folder to our component structure. So let's go ahead and right click on that, new, and then directory. And we'll call this global. Now we'll just dump our YouTube.view file into global. And now we see it there. Okay, and before we go back, well, it's still not technically gonna work because what I wanna do is add a parameter for that YouTube video. So what we see here is that it's expecting a video ID. So let's go back to the docs example, and then we'll add a video here. And I'll add in the YouTube ID for the very first video that we did for this series. Oh, and I just noticed real quick that I don't need the colon in this case. Okay. What do you know? At the corner of my eye, I see that I misspelled YouTube up here. I added that lowercase t in there. Let's go ahead and rename that. Take out that lowercase t, and then refactor, resave, and now go back to our browser. All right, let's scroll down, and here we see our video.